Yeah, so there's two free Epic games this week. Uh, A Plague Tale Innocence and Minute. Uh, We'll talk first about Minute here. It's a a single-player indie game uh, that was made by Devolver Digital, rather published by Devolver Digital. Yeah. They published the good shit, though. Yeah, they've been having a lot of good stuff coming out lately. Um, But they've got a couple developers on there. JW, Kitty, Jukio, and Dom. Must just be like four, four different people. Or badasses, dude, out there slaying in that code. Yeah, exactly. But it's a black and white 2D indie game. It's an action mm-hmm. adventure, and What's, the re- yeah, it's got like a gimmick, right? Yeah, that's why it's called Minute. Uh, you have 60 seconds uh, each day to get what you need to get done to further so it progress. Ever takes me. <laughs> 60 seconds. So to progress through the day, you have Nicola- a minute. Nicholas Cage over here. Yeah, and at the end of the 60 seconds, you die. And then you respawn at a respawn point. Uh, so in the beginning of the game, it'll be like a like a van or something. And later, it'll be like a little house. Um, and the goal is to get further and further and expand out into this map as far as you can. And to do that, you have to reach these different checkpoints. So within 60 minutes and the day before you die, you know, you have to go and grab a tool over here and then use it to break open a barricade over there, opening access. I'm just speaking in vague generalities yeah. here. Well, how That's big, essentially. How big are these kind of areas? Like, does it feel like, I mean, obviously they have the minute there to be, to create a sense of rush, you know, and um, stress. So does it feel like you have like a decent, like ample amount of time to get stuff done in that minute? Uh, or when you first start playing, uh, the 60 seconds feels really relevant, but the further you get into the game, the less the timer really matters and the, the less you worry about it because you got kind of a feel for the game and you got kind of an idea of, okay, I got I got 60 minutes to minutes, 60 seconds to um, get this done today. And if you don't, no big deal. And there's actually a way that you can kill yourself. So if you know that you're not going to make it, you can just kill yourself and respawn and retry what you had planned. And they're like little puzzles and stuff. It'd be um, awesome if they had like an animation where he just looks at the camera, like all sad. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like right super be- graphic. Yeah. Right before like, like uh, letters pop. It's like, you did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, it like zooms in. It's not like a 2d yeah. shitty graphic. It's like super good graphics, like super realistic. <laughs> and then it shows, <laughs> It shows like his kid in the background. Oh no, <laughs> Daddy! Oh my God! So, anyways, you can kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, um, it's gotten really good reviews. Uh, very positive um, from Steam, and really good uh, on Google users as well. So people like it. Um, one of the big complaints about it at this point is that uh, the 60 second timer thing does start to feel kind of artificial later in the game. And uh, it's just kind of a gimmick that you can tell that devel- the developers just kind of threw in there. Maybe maybe not last minute, but like yeah. halfway into the game, they're like, oh, I got a good idea. What if we put a timer on this? Like, it also seems like they were trying to make like an old Zelda game at first. And then halfway through, they're like, you know what? Let's make this other game instead. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea uh, of kind of doing like a deconstruction throwback to the timer. But I mean... I fucking hate timers. Everyone hates timers. Like, they were just bad game design. Uh, unless, like, it actually is, uh, you know, like like this, where it is kind of wrapped into the gameplay in a unique way. Otherwise, there's just such better ways to create that tension, in my opinion, in that rush. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty cool. It just reminds me of that uh, old Bernie Mac joke, where you'd be like, uh, you know, you wake up in the morning, and your wife's all mad from last night. She'd be like, oh, uh, breakfast will be ready in about one minute. Hey, everybody. It's your dad, Mr. One Minute. He's a one-minute man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Minute came out originally April 3rd, 2018. So, it's not like a brand new game either. And About a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> and if you... Yeah. Min- minute. And by the way, it's spelled M-I-N-I-T. So if you search for it, it's not spelled like actual minute. But uh, it's um, 
ten dollars typically on Steam. So if you want to get it, you might as well get it for free now on Epic. Yeah, uh, so the second free Epic game this week is A Plague Tale Innocence. I'm sure most people, uh, if you know, if you're a gamer, has probably heard about this one already. But for those of you who haven't, it's a single player game that takes place in a French countryside. Really beautiful art. Um, like during the day, uh, at, like if it's in the fall and there's like leaves and stuff, it's very beautiful. But then it's also got a, an extreme contrast at night, like when the rats come out and uh, it gets really dark. So it's a very dark game, but it's also got its very light areas. Kind of like how The Witcher 3 was uh, cinematic in a, in a way. Um, hmm. So from a visual standpoint, really awesome. Uh, and then from the story line, uh, you're uh, a girl named Amicia, I believe it's pronounced, and you you have to take care of your little brother Hugo. I'm jumping over some of the major plot points, but uh, essentially you got to protect him from uh, being captured by uh, the Inquisitors, I believe they are. Um, hey, what's his deal? Uh, he's like sick. But there's like uh, some kind of crazy, but it's not the plague. He doesn't have the plague, um, hmm. and there's this huge demand, and they're sending soldiers to try to find him, and you're trying to keep him safe. Uh, and it's mostly a stealth game. Uh, it's it's very linear. Uh, it's kind of split up into levels, and you pretty much have to sneak your way through these levels. Um, there are times when rats will come out. And when that happens, you have to get next to a light source or create a light source so you don't get bit and get the plague and die. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And uh, you, you know how Silent Hill, the movie, how it had kind of that creepy atmospheric tone to it? The first one? The movie, yeah. Or no, the movie, movie. Yeah, yeah, there was a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it kind of has that vibe, I would say, like at night when the rats come out. But the further you play into the game, the more you get used to the game. Like... It's not a difficult game. It, it's like a walking mm. simulator slash. But it, you're you're going through the story and like the emotions, right? Yeah, it's very cinematic, character driven. Um, it's like playing a movie, you know. So mm -hmm. if if you want like a chill gaming experience, um, that's also very cinematic and pretty, then this is probably a good one to pick up. I mean, yeah. hell. it always reminded me. Uh, it's almost like a stealthy, like a stealth version of like uh, <clears throat> the. What's what are they called? Uncharted games, mm -hmm. you know, where really you're playing kind of this movie. Um, it's on rails, but uh, fun. Although those ones are shooting stuff and doing all that other stuff. And they've got Sean Bean as a voice actor. That's how you know Ooh. it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so he dies in like the first ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Sean Bean. What a likable guy. Sean Bean must die. <laughs> Um, so the developer on that is Asobo Studio, Publishers Focus Home Interactive, came out May 14th, 2019. Very positive reviews out of like 32,000, 33,000 reviews. Um, so it's a solid game. If you don't get it for free, it's typically 40 bucks on Steam. Yeah. So. I've seen it on sale uh, quite a bit, but yeah. Let's go snag that. Snag it up. Snag, snag. Yeah, that one came out like, what, 2017? 2018. Oh, I already forgot. <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> 2019. 2019. 2019. 